Hello everyone and welcome to Suburban Stone Age. Rebecca here and I wanted to give you guys a brief look at my <laughs> solar cooking apparatus um, using a Fresnel lens, a terracotta pot, uh, and some clothes rack, a shop stool, and bits and pieces from around the house. Um, I've been working on this for months to um, build a proof of concept that works. Finally, we're there. I've cooked a couple meals successfully already, but um, I have chicken in this oven right now, and I wanted to show you guys how I put this together. So basically, the idea is, is that the Fresnel lens, which is that big plastic window right there, that's a lens that takes all the solar light, the solar radiation that falls on the entire lens and it focuses it to a point. That point falls within the terracotta pot, so it passes through that clear glass window and it's actually focused to land on the iron pot inside. You can see it there. So that directly heats the iron pot, um, but the glass window also traps the uh, heat inside. So it creates like a greenhouse effect as well. So what I have going on are temperature probes that measure the inside of the pot. Oh, and by the way, the reflective, um, that's aluminum foil. I'll probably change it with, uh, change it out with like mylar, but I tested it with aluminum foil. So that also kind of helps to keep any light um, bouncing around inside the pot. The idea is to get it as hot as possible. So back to the probes. I have a probe inside the terracotta pot and that measures the air temperature. I can also put it in the iron pot to measure uh, temperature in there. So I have a A, B setting. I have two opportunities to measure temperature. Um, down below in, see if you can see it under here, on the shop stool, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a, food, a cooking thermometer. There's a probe in the chicken that's in that iron pot. So I can tell when the chicken is uh, getting cooked. It started frozen about an hour ago. It's been, you know, two hours ago. It's been defrosting in the pot uh, without the Fresnel lens. And now that the Fresnel lens is on it, the intention is to actually really cook it and kick the heat up. And so now the chicken's starting to rise. It's at 57 degrees. Um, so you know the apparatus that the, t the platform for the terracotta pot is, it's like a $30 shop stool. I got it off Amazon and I cut the padded seat off and, and screwed on uh, that scrap piece of board that I had. The idea with that is that it can roll around to track the sun easily. So every maybe 20 minutes or so I come out and check the food and, and uh, realign the whole rig with the sun. It's easy to do. Um, and the option, there's a little pneumatic um, device, I guess, piston in there that you can um, adjust up and down. So I have the opportunity as the seasons change to both lower and raise the um, terracotta pot to find the best focus for the sun and also swivel it in any direction um, so that I can track it as the sun moves throughout the day. Um, also here you'll see that this is a clothing rack. It was about 40 bucks and I got a kind of a sturdy version. Um, same idea with this is the chains are connected to little screws that were screwed into the wooden frame of the Fresnel lens and that helps me adjust the angle um, so at different times of the year it can be lowered or raised to get the right angle. Also what was super important is that it's on casters so that again as the sun moves through the sky during the day, um, it's super, super simple just to push it around and move it on wheels. I found that to be, and it's lightweight too. So um, in earlier versions, I had it on pallets, I had it on all kinds of crazy stuff, but it was hard to move and very cumbersome. So I needed to find an answer. Nala, Nala, good girl. You don't want to mess with that. Um, I needed to find an answer that was easy to move around. So that's where we stand right now. The food's at 57 degrees. I have the probe um, transmits to another probe in the house so I can watch the temperature. We have a reading, uh, ambient air in the pot right now is 153 degrees. And that's coming from that probe right there. And so we'll crank it up and get it as high as we can. It's climbing too. 
and and uh, see where we go. I estimate it'll probably take about two hours. Time is about two o'clock, two thirty p.m. on Saturday afternoon, weekend of July 4, two thousand six. All right, guys, more updates to come.